My name is Gordon Browning. I shape and hollow wood vessels on the lathe. Each piece is turned from a single log. No segments, no glue ups. In contrast, it is all about the log's grain and my shape. I like full bodied forms and parabolic curves. Organic roundness rather than angles, arcs, or spheres. The opening at the top draws the eye and is fingertip small. The walls are thin for lightness and balance. How thin? A high shelf and a small earthquake. Fortunately, I was able to put the pieces back together. The vessel, now intact, has two dates on the bottom. No base. A small divot on the bottom locates the balance point. Here's the lathe. You stand facing the tool rest to do the shaping. And these tools are the shaping tools. I sharpen three at a time. And this is the position of the tool rest for hollowing. I straddle the lathe to make this cutting possible. Bent tools, a size and angle to reach every section inside the vessel. And here are homemade calipers. Each mark is 3 16 of an inch. Where the brass and the wood overlap, that is the thickness of the vessel's wall. The emerald ash borer is currently extirpating the North American ash. Firewood, turning stock. Shaping, like watching the waves roll in, is a soothing, repetitious, ASMR-inducing activity. Hollowing, in contrast, not so much. Hollowing is very intense. It seems to have no visible action, and it goes on forever. So people ask how I get the chips out. The key to blind hollowing is measuring. Measuring at every point all through the process. Is happy to reach the sanding stage with the piece still intact. 600 grit. Beeswax, homemade, one part wax, four parts mineral oil. Giving another life to dying trees. Thank you for watching.